shares. Hey everybody, I'm Rob. And I'm Lori Marie Jenkins. And we're both artists who have moved, moved to, to Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's Friday, late, late afternoon for us. Mm -hmm. And I usually get this edited and published Saturday morning. So, Saturday morning for most of you. So, thanks so much for joining in. We're just kind of winging it today. Yeah, yeah. We are in El Nido Nuevo. Let's see. We're in the new house and uh, had, a, had a very good week. Had a very good week. Um, a lot of moving. <laughs> a lot of moving in. Yeah, we were able to move most of the, or all, I'll say most, of yeah. the smaller stuff uh, with our car. Right. Uh, doing a car load at a time. And um, I did a quick little video of the terraza area and where my studio is. And this is our furniture here. And so that the bigger furniture came on Sunday, I think. Yeah, yeah. Our buddy Francisco helped us with his bigger truck. So mattresses and couches and things like that. Some stuff from here we took to the casita, some stuff from the casita here, and so furniture-wise we're, we're in great shape. We are in great shape. Yeah, and the casita is uh, furnished, a little different than it was, but um, it'll be either sold, hopefully, mm -hmm. or rented uh, furnished, so yeah. that's good. I think we're going to list it, what, for June 1st to rent? No, it'll be sold by then. Ah, it'll be sold by then. Yes, yes. Silly me. Fingers crossed. Send good vibes, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and the Vista, remember, the uh, plantel is just amazing. So to have the little casita as a rental and build a house down below, that was the intention. It's still a really, really good idea. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Just, we didn't want to build it. We didn't so. want to build. Too many decisions. Yep, so <laughs> having, a, having a lot of fun here, nesting, making making it our own. It's a really lovely space. Packing things, unpacking things, or, <laughs> oh or unpacking things and then packing things, or moving things and then moving them again. And then to move them all over again when we see what the weather's like in the rainy season. <laughs> right, exactly. Which hasn't started yet. No. It's been very hot, very dry. It's threatening to yeah, rain. Extremely dry uh, April here. Mm -hmm. Um, drier than normal, I guess, but what's normal nowadays, so. <laughs> I don't think you can see Hudson. Hudson is right here. He is. He's happy yeah. to have his furniture back. He's very happy to yeah. have his furniture back. Um, he has adjusted, and we get to walk without a leash here, which is really oh, special yes, for all of us. It's nice. It's really, really nice. And training him to stop when a car goes past. Not many cars go past on this road mm -hmm. or a motorcycle or, you know, whatever. And he's doing very well with that training, so that's good. Um, you want to tell him about the hummingbird? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So we have a, <laughs> we have a partially screened-in porch here. And it's really kind of cool because all the screens are removable. Um, they're big, big wooden frame screens, and so the, the front three... Uh, panels are not in right now, but the whole side and back of the porch that we're sitting on have screens in them and um, And so we're, we watch the birds and the butterflies and everything out here and we see hummingbirds quite frequently We've got some great plants for them And so hummingbird comes flying in here and he goes flying over towards the screen Punk! <laughs> stuck <laughs> He got his <laughs> beak stuck. So here he is. You know, we're sitting here watching him, and he's like, <laughs> trying to pull his beak out of the screen. It was adorable. It was. It was like a living dartboard game. It was adorable. And, and of course, we were ready to go around outside of the screen and help him, but he got loose. And <laughs> <laughs> no, he was out in, in no time at yeah. all. I mean, we're talking just a, a matter of seconds. But yeah. It, it was, was funny. It was, you hate, we hated to laugh. Right. You know, you but afterwards to. we really laughed. Yeah. Another one came in today and he did not get stuck, no. but he was. Uh, I don't know if it was the same one or not. Right. The one that came in today was more of a sickle bill, so. <laughs> a little harder. Yeah, straight one. <laughs> boing! That was really. Like funny. a bent dart, not yeah. going to stick. So. Yeah. But yeah, some lovely wildlife here. Um, lovely plants, oh. lovely view. The black critters that we saw across the road. Oh my gosh, Tyras. Tyras are, they're, I, I, I've never heard of them before coming to Costa Rica, but a Tyra is a member of the weasel family. It's a, like a type of a marmot, but it's a very long, bushy-tailed, dark brown or black animal. And it looks like a cat. 
It, and but it's got a bushy tail. Really bushy tail. <laughs> really bushy tail. And then just to confuse you, there is another small black cat, almost the same size, called a jaguarundi. But the jaguarundi does not have a bushy tail. And uh, I haven't seen any, any of those. The cats are definitely a little bit scarcer. But we saw three Tyra crossing the street when we were walking Hudson the other morning. Yeah. And they're just, apparently they're very playful. Um, not that we're going to, you know, throw a ball or anything, <laughs> but yeah, they were just kind of romping around, not in a big hurry or anything. And yeah, it was neat. Yeah, that was, that was great. Yeah. So we'll let you know what, st what stuff we see here or don't see here. So. We do have the bird feeder up now. Right, right. We put bananas on it a couple of days ago. They were empty today? Mm, yesterday? yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday we replenished. And so we replenished, they, and those uh, bananas are still there, so we shall see what happens. But yeah. it's quite close. I, I think we have a video of that. Yeah, we do. We do of, of us yes. installing it. Right. So it's closer to the jungle. Mm -hmm. and, really nice uh, spot. We can see it from where we eat breakfast, which is over here, so it's nice. So if they start coming, we'll just... We'll have to buy more bananas. Yeah, we can ours, do that. Ours are not ready to harvest, although we will have a fair amount of bananas from the property. Right, and we harvested uh, grapefruit and lemons this week. Oh yeah, so, star fruit. And star fruit. Yeah, that's right. So we got the a, grapefruit is delicious. It's a ruby red. Oh my gosh, it's so very good. sweet for a grapefruit even. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah, the lemons are amazing and not real common here nope. in the in the farmers markets, and we got huge lemons. Yeah. So, a lot of good stuff going on here. Uh, what started today? Uh, uh, my studio. Da, 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 Got a small da, da. video of that. So there was a little gardening shed which we took down today. And we have the dimensions for my studio all laid out. So um, got the uh, the floor, floor plan mapped out. Get ready to start construction next Monday. And so yay, my art slash carpentry studio is in progress. Yep. And, um, and what happened... Thursday. Hmm. Yesterday? Lori Marie celebrated her first birthday in, in Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Yay! Feliz cumpleaños. And I had a delicious day. Yay. It was a nesting day. I didn't have to leave home. At the nest. I could stay in my pajamas all day. <laughs> and handsome hubby, who knows me very well, brought me two pieces, not just one, two pieces of bread pudding, okay? If you know me, you know I could live forever on bread pudding and scones. And popcorn. And popcorn, that is true. <laughs> and nachos. <laughs> well, those are... From the States. From the States. <laughs> not here with mayonnaise and mustard and ketchup on them, the way that they serve them here. Oh my gosh. Thank you. So, yeah, yeah we're going to drag you along as we do remodels mm -hmm. and readjustings of things and as the um, carpenters workshop uh, continues to be built right right <laughs> and it's it's really it's been great for us the experience that we've gleaned in the past year may 1st will be one year here for us so we're almost there and oh my gosh we've learned so much like with the construction and this is a different crew than the guys who worked mm -hmm. on um mm -hmm. the casita i wanted to uh, try out some other guys see what their style is like different and all that very highly recommended and so um yeah i've just learned so much about the costa ricans working style how they communicate how they work how will they build differently than we do in the states or probably even canada and so all all this stuff has been wonderful to learn and it just makes this process, everything that we're going to be doing here, that much easier. Because we understand a little bit more where the stores are. You know, what oh, things yeah, you can find and what you can't. Are, right. and, yeah, the better ones for appliances and things like that. Yeah, so. and if you see a lighting fixture, buy it that day. Because it won't be there when you come back and they will never have it again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or they'll just have one and you'll need three. <laughs> right, yeah. Need four, we got two. All right. So sorry. <laughs> Um, I do want to talk about uh, Francisco for a moment, because Francisco came on Monday. He's going to be helping us with the, the rehabilitation of the orchard. Right. That kind of sounds right. So uh, can you uh, mention real quick what he used to uh, for nutrition for the plants? Okay, so it's a spray uh, that's primarily molasses. Mm -hmm. And so molasses with a couple of other ingredients. I think there's some calcium in there. 
Um, he really knows his stuff. He doesn't like chemicals. And uh, molasses is really common down here. And he's got a big gas-powered sprayer. And so he literally sprayed everything. And it was amazing. We had trees that within two hours, their leaves had perked up and gotten more colorful. Mm -hmm. Just from that. He's doing it again this coming Monday. So he's going to be doing this spray. And I'll try to find out more about specifically what's in it. But calcium and mo this molasses spray, a lot of pruning and... I mean, in a year, this place is just going to be so vibrantly healthy. Can they prune now? They are pruning now. There are certain times that are better th than others to prune, depending on what the tree is. And the, the Costa Ricans are really know here, they're all done by moon cycles. There's something called menguante, and that's the period when, um, I think it's like a week after a full moon is when you prune. Or trim trees, or even cut down trees. So. It all has to do with the moisture content in the trees, the moisture content and sugar in the fruit. So really, really good, um, good farmers. They, yep. they, they know their land, they know their seasons, they know all this stuff and we're benefiting from their knowledge. It's wonderful. And uh, Lily came over today and brought us a flower pot with four branches in it from her uh, double hibiscus. So she pruned it off her double hibiscus stuck four sticks out, four sticks in the ground, in the pot, and said, you know, I just stuck them in today, so give them a little while. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're just going to grow like that. <laughs> Welcome to Costa Rica. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> stick in the ground, well, helps if there's water. Yeah, but. that is true. Yeah. That is true. So we do have so, a couple fun videos mm -hmm, for you guys, mm -hmm. uh, a few things that happened during the week, a few things that happened around here. Um, and so that's kind of it. This is just uh, this is our our week as it happened. Yeah. With the birthday girl. Woohoo! Woo and um, thank you for all of the comments, yes. Lauren Marie, She she answers them all. I I've been pretty lax in that. But there's some that are directed to Robin, and he does yeah. get to see those. So yeah. Uh, Papa Bear, especially, I'll just point <laughs> that out. Thank you so much for that information. Yeah. Yeah. So, definitely. Yeah. All right. And. Um, that's it. That's it. Thanks for showing up. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your comments. Thanks mm -hmm. for all your support. Yeah, uh, so much positivity coming our way, and we send it right back to you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Much, much, much appreciated. All right, see you next week. Adios. Ciao. So this is the road right down from our casita. They're actually paving the uh, shoulder. So, there's the upper view of the Gaviones. They're going down about four, four levels there. So, it's gonna be pretty solid. All right, we're getting some fresh, fresh tuna. Right off the boat down here in uh, Dominicalito. Chopping it up for me right there, taking it home for the barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> All right, we're north of uh, San Isidro right now, and my buddy Daryl and I stopped at Chiripo Berg. So, this is the Swiss restaurant, and it is it's amazing. It's amazing. You got a great, great view of the valley out there and fabulous plants. It's a brewery as well. So I guess they got some Chiripo IPA, but uh, I mean, the place is just gorgeous woodwork. My first time here. It's pretty empty, but looks fun. Good morning. Uh, the bird feeder's up. Woohoo! So exciting. Yes, we have arrived. Yes. And if we're quiet for a minute, I think you can hear the toucans. There it is. Yeah. So I am just stripping one side of the banana. This we, is our backyard. Yeah, we. this is, there's the mountains. Nice space here. You're supposed to put the bird feeders close to the forest. So there are, the birds are not out in the open. And so we've got a nice spot here. We can see it. They can access it. Oh, we got some wonderful mandarins. Lori Marie found one from our tree and it was, it was, <laughs> 
How good was it? It was terrible. So sour. It made me squeal. <laughs> oh my God. That was after I warned her too. Yep. So we are hoping for much better luck with the bird feeder here than the casita. Yep. Buen provecho. Okay, I'm standing on the terraza uh, where we park the car. The car is there, driveway there. We have construction workers here today. Anyway, this is the window into our room. Um, Hudson has not hopped up on the bed yet. I'm gonna turn around. This is the view that we see <laughs> when we wake up in the morning and we sit up in bed. Ah, can't see the mountains today because it's overcast, but what an amazing view, right? And these are the plants that we brought from the casita. Some of them will be um, planted in the ground and some of them will remain in pots. We have everything from ginger to mango trees to avocado trees to mother-in-law tongues to orchids to uh, crotons. We have it all over there. That mess over there. <laughs> That is the studio, my studio. I worked on it a little bit today. Uh, that's where we have breakfast and lunch, that little table. And then that overlooks the bird feeder over there. Yay, we put bananas out a couple of days ago. They were empty yesterday. And um, this is all screened in. This is where yeah, the uh, bananas were all empty yesterday, so we put some new ones out today. This is <laughs> the screen where the hummingbird got stuck. Hopefully I've told you the story about that. Our clothesline, yay! A path there that leads down to a spring. Uh, not much water in the spring right now, but when it's flowing, I'll take you down there. And I've started a little pineapple garden here. I have one more pineapple to plant here. The red earth that you see is the cast off from an anthill, which is apparently very good for the soil uh, as a compost. So we'll keep our eye on the pineapples. Keep our eye on the pinas. So this is the back side of the house. That's our water tank up there, which is great. And I just wanted to show you guys the beginnings of my new studio. So this, uh, they're taking apart. They had a little uh, sort of a garden shed kind of thing out there, but this is gonna be the space. So we've, we've got the lines all marked out for where the studio is gonna be. And um, so the guy's just laying things out and I will uh, give you more progress as as we continue, but I had to show you the big the big fan palm, the bamboo, and then just all the all the great forest back here. All kinds of plants, fun stuff.